everybody, Peter Vaughn from Cardboard Alchemy here, and we're about to play the cooperative mode of Mission Catastrophe. And with popular demand, we've heard that Renegade Robots is the first cooperative scenario you'd like to see. So we're going to play a, uh, I'm going to play all three players. Keep in mind, cooperative mode is the same as solo mode. It can be played one through six. Now, the robots come with the expansion, and there's a module that is normally played in competitive mode, with, which is called robotics. And you use robotics by going to that module and activating a robot to be your second pawn in the game. You can move it around and it can do everything that you could do. There's also some reboot cards mixed into the deck which allows you to hack somebody else's robot and it's a lot of fun. In cooperative mode, you don't play with robotics. You leave the reboot cards in the deck though. And what will happen is uh, you're all trying to still get off the ship. Every single one of you needs a power pack an oxygen tank, navigation codes, and food rations, and you have to set fuses equal to the number of players, you still have to get out before the ship explodes. But in addition to that, the robots, well, they mean well, but they're running around trying to fix things for you, and if they try to fix something, they often break it. All right, we're about to play Renegade Robots in a three-player cooperative game. I'm gonna be controlling all of our characters today. We are playing Chad as the captain of the ship. And Chad's always thinking, you know, he's a power here that says if the meteoroid will crash where Chad's standing, he can take an immediate quick thinking action, which is pretty powerful. We've got Gizma262 up on the ceiling as the first mate. Gizma has times wasted, which means that when the ship integrity gets to yellow and when it gets to red, Gizma's going to gain a charge cube, which is useful as an action. And last but not least, we have T-Turp TikTok as the quartermaster. T-Turp TikTok is playing with one alien's trash, which gives T-Turp uh, three charges to use that power. And that says that whenever another alien discards a card, uh, TikTok can grab that card, which is really useful in a co-op game. When you played a good card, you're gonna be able to grab that again. Of course, everything you see here is a prototype. This is a uh, rough art uh, taped on. These are old cards. This is not the integrity board, but you know, we're pretty happy to be able to show you what a cooperative mode is like. And of course we have these neat resin minis made by our friend, Mike DePasquale. We really appreciate that. Crudely painted uh, characters by me, here's Chad. And we're gonna have fun here playing the cooperative mode. We're playing it on normal difficulty, not hard. Hard changes it up with a pretty tough engine room and life support, making it so that if any time the engine room's out of power, you would uh, nothing would work and uh, you wouldn't have oxygen if the life support was out. And if anyone's ejected out into space, it's game over. We're playing a little bit easier than that because we're gonna have these robots to contend with and they're gonna be running around trying to repair or AKA break the ship the robots are going to be taking their turn after everyone else's turn, and the robots are going to operate from lowest module to highest module, and they'll evaluate a couple different ways. If they're, if they're disabled, they will stand back up. If they're not disabled and the room has a full power, they will actually damage it down just to oxygen. Why? We don't know why they're doing that. They happen to think that means that it's fixed. Now, if they find a room that is uh, damage, they will try and add a cube to it, but they'll take it from the highest numbered module with the most amount of cubes. And then they will move to the next lowest module, and there can never be two robots in the same spot. As players, we will be able to deal with the robots if we want to by we can kick them over onto their side if we're in the same uh, module as an action. And we can also, uh, we can play the reboot card if we get one of those to send a, a, a dis disabled robot into uh, out into space. Of course, there'll be another robot in a second, but we can do a little bit of something. Uh, the override card also allows us to play a special thing in this scenario. Normally, override in competitive mode stops a card. In cooperative mode, override allows you to copy a card. But today, also in Renegade Robots, the override allows you to prevent a robot from doing its thing. It will still move, but you can stop it from doing its uh, damage. Okay, we're about to start here. I've dealt everyone three pip cards each. And uh, normally you pick your rolls after you roll for initial damage, uh, but we've already done the rolls here. Um, and so we're gonna roll to see who goes first. Now when you roll to see who goes first, you actually damage the ship at the same time. Yay! And so what happens is the engine room starts off damage. That's Chad's roll. And then we're gonna roll for teacher of TikTok who gets an eight. That's navigation has taken a hit. And Gizma uh, rolls a nine, so seven, eight, nine. 
means that Chad's gonna go first. But before we do that, we're also gonna add the first robot. So we'll roll again. And it's a seven, that's the engine room. So what we would do is we would take, no matter how many cubes, we would bring it down to just one oxygen. And that is also the trigger for how a robot comes in. If any room goes to without power, that is what triggers the automatic robotic response. And the robot comes in and will take its turn after everyone has taken their turn. And of course, the engine room now is without power. Luckily, we're not in hard mode, so we can deal with that uh, another time. We don't have to go fix it immediately. So Chad rolled the lowest. Chad is sitting here with a quick thinking, which should be able to stop any action. Also a scavenge to move a cube. Uh, that's a pretty powerful combo and also a reboot to knock a robot out if it's down. So Chad's ready to go. Chad's of course got to roll damage on the first turn and it is a six. So now the greenhouse has taken a hit. And Chad's got to decide what to do. Could run over to the engine room and try and repair it, but doesn't have a spacesuit, and seven could be rolled a lot, could be sent into space, so not really feeling it that way. Life support, looks like a great place to go. Stay on this side of the ship, maybe. And uh, one, two, and grab an oxygen tank card for his hand. So that's pretty great, he's got one of the four resources. Of course, they've all got to get that. Um, all right, so we're on to the next one. We're going clockwise to help me out. Um, teacher of TikTok will be the next to roll. And that is a seven. Oh no, the engine room. We could do something to stop it. You know, um, Chad does have quick thinking and a scavenge, which could actually move a cube over there. But I, I don't, I think it's too early to try and deal with that. So we're gonna actually let the engine room go. Whoop. And that causes a cascade. The robot's fine, you know, it doesn't need any oxygen. So it causes a cascade. And the maintenance room then takes a hit as well. And now it is T Turp. TikTok's turn. Okay, where to go? Where to go? So Chad ran over to life support. That's kind of covered. Now Chad could grab life support oxygen tank cards for everybody, or we could all just get our own thing. A couple different ways to play it in co-op mode. Uh, you know, teacher TikTok's got a requisition form, which in the co-op mode actually has a way of sending a card to or from an ally. So could you know, grab a resource for somebody else, that's actually really useful. I can send it across the ship. So t -Turp's thinking, sure, all right, I'll run over to navigation, one, two, and I'll grab a navigation card. But, um, let's, should we should fix navigation first? Maybe we'll just, we'll just do our part and try and be good, a good crew member and just, just fix it, just in case it goes bad here. All right, and then we've got uh, Gizma262 is gonna be rolling. And rolls a five, which is life support where Chad is standing. Now Gizma happens to have a spacesuit, which is pretty cool. Which means Gizma's looking at that engine room and saying that that's my job. I'm gonna fix that today. First mate's gotta do what first mate's gotta do. So Gizma spends their first action to actually put on the spacesuit. Uh, that's one action, and then second action, two, and third action, three. They're going to actually tickle this robot over here and get ready to fix the engine room. Now, everyone's taking a turn, and that means the robot has its turn. And there's only one robot to analyze here because no other rooms have taken enough damage to trigger another robot. So there's a robot in seven, and seven happens to have no power. So the robot is going to attempt to fix that right now by adding a cube from the highest numbered module that also happens to have, uh, you know, power. So you're looking at the 12 here. You're going to evaluate the 12 first. The 12 has three cubes. So 12 is the one that gets the cube. All right, so the robot does one thing. And then uh, after that, it moves to the next lowest numbered module. So the robot's always going to be moving. It, if there was another robot there, it would skip and keep going. They're going to cycle down to one, and if they reach one, they'll cycle back around to 12, and they'll tip over. So that's the way that the robots will all keep doing their thing. So the engine room uh, has one cube in it now, which actually uh, helps us, uh, but they took it from sensors. All right, now we're back to our turns. Chad's going to roll for damage. Three. Maintenance took a hit. So this could be a bad cascade over here. Chad might want to do something about that. It's got three actions and it's kind of done 
with the oxygen thing. Also could look at a pod right now. So there's a pod here attached to life support and could see that value because we do need to set the fuse at some point today. Oh, Chad, what am I gonna do? Um, should we get more life oxygen time cards for everybody else? I mean, we could. Um, I don't think that's the way I'm going to play this one. I think everyone's going to go get their own stuff, and I'm just going to try and be really efficient with like, just moving everyone around. So Chad's going to take the first action and repair life support so someone else could come in here, then go to maintenance and take another action to repair maintenance. It's like, let's do our, our part here. You know, then we'll get the engine room all running again. t trip TikTok with a five. Ah, hits life support again just when we thought we fixed it. t trips over here now at a fully functional navigation, which is awesome. So... First things first, gonna grab a navigation codes. Definitely gonna need one of those for the ride home. And second action, we're gonna look at this pod and it is F. So everybody at home, remember, there's an F over at navigation codes. So we'll remember, we wanna set one of the fuses possibly to F. That's two actions. And the third action, t -Turp Tic TikTok is gonna draw a card and we got ourselves a quick thinking card, which will be very useful. All right. Now we're on to Gizma 262, which has rolled a three. Oh, and I've already discovered a, a problem of, of when I was playing that I, I have to fix now, which is that when maintenance went down to two cubes, another robot showed up. So we've managed to fix that in just enough time. That's gonna be bad. We got two robots kicking around and Chad might've been able to kick that one over, but I still like the move of fixing maintenance. Uh, but of course, the roll here from Gizma is going to be a three for uh, maintenance to go down again. That could have actually sent Chad out into the uh, the outer reaches of space. So he's lucky he's still around. Gizma has um, so he got a spacesuit on, hanging out in the engine room. Perfect. So we're going to actually repair the engine room for one, and because it's the common number, we're going to repair it for two. And then the last thing that Gizma is going to do is get herself some power pack and have that in hand. All right. We're still in green. So we're not in yellow. So Gizma's power has not kicked in. And T-Turp has not decided that any cards have been worth grabbing yet. And nothing's really been discarded. So we've gone all three turns. Now we're on to the robots turn. Now there are two robots. We're going to evaluate robot number one, which is in maintenance. Maintenance is currently sitting at low power and the robot will attempt to fix that. 12 now is not the best module, but 11 is because it's the highest module with the most cubes. So that'll do that. And this main this robot will move around to operations. The greenhouse robot actually looks at greenhouse and says, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna fix this. Uh, whoops, uh, totally did not fix that. And then this goes to life support. They all cycle back down. So that's the robot's turn. Oh, no, Chad's got to go here. Let's see. Chad says, all right, we got a six. That actually hits the greenhouse right now. And again, Chad does have a way of stopping these things with a quick thinking and a scavenge. Is this the moment to stop these things? I don't think so. We're going to let the greenhouse go. We're just going to actually cascade over to sensors and hit the bridge. So that was not great, but we're, we'll deal with it. Chad's got three three actions now. Has an oxygen tank, doesn't have power, uh, power pack, so wants to go into the engine room, grab a power pack. Feels like he's got his stuff going. He's got one action left. This is a perfect time to draw a card. So he gets oh, a spacesuit. It's gonna be useful for Chad. All right. Now we've got a seven rolled on teacher of TikTok's turn, which is actually gonna hurt the engine room. Now that is right where Chad is standing and he's got the always thinking ability as the captain, immediately gets a quick thinking action, right? Now quick thinking goes right before the cube is destroyed. So the only action he can't do is he can't repair because that's clearly a full thing. It's right before it happens. So since he's got all the cards he wants, he's actually gonna take that free action and move and then the Meteoroid hits. But it is Teacher of TikTok's turn, sitting over here in navigation. Now he's got a requisition form, which means he wants to pass, or I say he, uh, Teacher of TikTok, we don't actually know. Um, so we're gonna say Teacher of TikTok. They have one navigation code. They'd like to get another one and help out a teammate 
and send that to a teammate. So they've actually got now another navigation codes. This is their hand, by the way. You've got two navigation codes, a rec form, an override, an EVA, and a quick thinking. So that's some good reactionary type stuff. What do we want to do about it? We've got robots in two areas. Oh, actually, again, with the robots, this is uh, this is me as a rookie player, uh, but we do have to get two more robots. The sensors actually went down. This might have been the reason to stop the greenhouse, by the way. The sensors went down and created another robot, and the bridge went down and created another robot. I mean, pretty much all the robots are gonna come into play and we're gonna be dealing with a lot of robots. But wow, if I had realized that two were going to be coming, I might have decided to stop that. Oh well. Hey, you know what? It's a challenge. We're up for it. Teacher grabbed a card and now is looking at these robots like, you know what? Now I gotta take one of these things out. Although this one's gonna repair, that one's gonna repair. Maybe that's not the worst thing. This one's gonna damage some serious stuff here. There's nothing we can really do about it. Well, we grabbed a card. We could actually pop down operations and knock it out. I actually like that move. We're gonna, it's expensive though. We have to give up an EVA to do it. We're gonna EVA down to here and we're gonna knock this robot over because we've got too many robots right now. And on Gizma's turn, Gizma's gonna roll an eight, which actually hits navigations. Gotta be careful because the ship is filling up with robots. Now, um, what to do here? Okay, all right, Geese was on the ceiling, in the engine room, trying to decide if, got a spacesuit on, walking around, trying to get all the stuff. Knows that we need to get a life support. So you know what? We're actually gonna stop another robot, so one, two, and then kick this one over. Boom, now that's two robots down, that'll help us, because now it's the robot's turn. So we actually go to the lowest numbered robot around, which is number two, which actually just stands up. Then we go over to, there's nothing in three, nothing in four, go into five, it stands up. Nothing in six, nothing in seven, nothing in eight, nine, 10, 11. This one tries to repair the bridge and it does so by taking the highest possible thing it can, which is out of the teleporter, and then it moves down to the teleporter. And then number 12 here tries to fix this and it evaluates 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. 4 has the most number of cubes for the highest number possible. So it takes from number 4 and puts that on the sensors. And then moves to the bridge to uh, repair that. Although we really know what it's going to do. All right, so uh, well, that's the end of the robots. We are on to Chad's turn. Chad's going to roll it up. That is a nine. That actually damages the cargo bay down to uh, not working, which summons another robot. Ah, the robots are everywhere. We are in up to our uh, mechanical, uh, we, we can't take any more robots. So Chad's like, all right, all right, what are we gonna do here? Um, Chad's got two cards of the total number of cards. Wants to stay focused on getting these cards. Whew. Uh, has maintenance, could fix the greenhouse with maintenance, standing right there. You gotta be careful though if greenhouse goes again. So that's, that's possibly bad. We will deal with greenhouse later when Chad knows more about, well, when he's going back over there. God, it's a tough one. So, all right, Chad's looking at whether or not he wants to hack the bridge. He does kind of want to fix this problem. Is there a robot that's going to do damage? Yes. There's this robot and the life support robot and the teleporter robot and the bridge robot are all going to do damage. Uh, Gizmo's got that one covered. The teleporter is not covered. But, you know, let's see, the cargo bay one's going to do some stuff there. And Chad's, Chad's right there. He's going to go there. He's going to kick it over. Boom. And he's going to pay, play a reboot right? Reboot right now sends that robot out, okay? That robot is now out of the game, and teacher TikTok loves that move and plays Override. Actually, no, no, teacher TikTok plays one alien's trash and uses up one of its cubes, so that's out of the game to take the reboot card, because we like the ability to knock these robots out. 
If we could just keep the ship from getting damaged, we can keep them out of here. So Chad went one and then played, uh, and then kicked and then played the reboot card. So that was Chad's entire turn, but kept that room safe. And now we're gonna roll again. This is teacher TikTok's turn and got a six, which actually passes through the greenhouse, which is currently Swiss cheese. Um, and so that six is actually a safe roll for us right now. t has got three actions and is sitting in Operations. Operations is a great module because you can draw cards. So what we're going to do is we're first going to kick that robot again. Then we're going to use the Operations module to draw three cards, which t gets a Remote Repair, a Scavenge, and another Wreck Form. And out of those, I think the scavenge is pretty powerful to move cubes, but since the robots are already moving cubes, even better probably is a remote repair, which is what we're going to keep. And the other two cards go on the bottom of the deck. So that's t -Turp's second action is to use operations. First one was to kick the robot. He's actually got that reboot card that he stole. So this is the perfect time to actually use the third action to knock out another robot. So we're getting these robots off the ship. It's actually a strategy that I have not played before. I previously just tried to not deal with, let them all come on and then deal with them. But now we got two of them out, which is quite interesting. All right, T-Chip Tic Tac is done. We're on to Gizma. Gizma rolls a five. That's actually right where Gizma is standing. That summons another robot, unfortunately, unless we want to do something about that. Yes, we do. We don't want another robot. We worked so hard to get these robots out of here. So right before that happens, t Turp Tic Tac plays a quick thinking card, okay? And also the remote repair. So right before that move, gives a cube from the ship integrity to life support, and then that's the cube that gets taken, which means no more robot is summoned. And it's Gizma's turn. So Gizma needs to, well, we're gonna kick that robot over. We're going to add a cube to life support, and then we're going to take the oxygen tank. And now Gizma's got two of the four resources. So we're in a spacesuit and we've got an override and EVA. And we've got two of the four things that we need. That's two of our crew have two of the four. Tic Tac's got two navigation codes. So that means that can pass one. We're on the robot's turn. We're gonna evaluate robots from lowest to highest. There is none in one, two, three, four. There is one in five, it stands back up. No robot in six, no robot in seven, eight, Nine, there's a robot in 10, which damages the teleporter and then moves to cargo bay, right where Chad is ready to punch it. And then we go to the bridge. That robot damages the bridge and moves to the teleporter where it will attempt to repair it next turn. But we're back to Chad. Chad's rolled a seven. That takes the engine room out. Um, but again, that actually means another robot. And in a vain attempt to try and stop these robots from coming in, we're going to use our last, we're going to use a um, quick thinking and a scavenge to try and stop this. I don't know if this is the best use of these cards, but we are stalling here. So we're going to play a scavenge, move a crew quarters over there, then that's the one that gets the damage, and engine room doesn't go down. Chad's got three actions. Has not put on his spacesuit yet, so that's going to be his first action. Let's put that on so that he's safe. If this goes bad, he's going to kick the robot for a second action, and he's going to repair cargo bay for the third. That's three actions for Chad. t Turp Tick Tock has rolled a six, which is, again, a great number for us. Boom. t Turp Tick Tock is in operations. Could do another operations draw card, which is pretty good. It's an awesome play. Let's do it again. First action, we got a scavenge, we got a quick thinking, and we got a reboot. Now... I believe we already played this reboot, so that's supposed to be out of his hand, out of their hand. And we've got a chance to grab another reboot or a quick thinking. I like the scavenge, though. I uh, won't be able to play it without the quick thinking unless it's on their turn, but it's a pretty good, useful card. So we'll take that one, put these other ones on the bottom. That was action number one. Action number two t Turp is doing all the looking at the escape pods. This one is now E. If you guys remember that this at next to operations is E, we might want to set one of the fuses to E. Uh, all right, so that was action one, look at cards. Action two, 
uh, look at the pod action three. I mean, I guess teacher could have gone over there and dealt with that robot, which would have been a nice thing to do. And does not have a spacesuit, so doesn't want to risk being over there. I mean, the robot is going to repair it. That's good. And we know actually that that's going to gain a cube. So it could go stand over there. But I think we'll actually... Um, We'll go over here and get ready to fix the greenhouse and go that way. So t Serp is done with their turn. And we're on to Gizma for the final turn of this round. Five, right where they're standing, that's life support. So, I mean, this feels a little repetitive, but we, we're just doing our part here. We're gonna kick the robot. We're gonna fix life support. Now they've already gotten the card. So we're gonna take this opportunity to look at the last pod here. And that is A. So now we know at least three pods, and we can try and set those fuses to the right letters. But it's the robot's turn, so we're going to go through that. There are currently three robots on board. Five stands up, nine stands up, and ten tries to fix the teleporter. Looks for a three cube, goes all the way down actually to number five, right? Five. Take it from number five, goes to the teleporter. All right, so, and then moves to cargo bay, but can't, so moves down to navigation. All right, there's robots everywhere. There's three of them, though. We've done a really good job of keeping the robots at bay. Now, um, none of them have come back in because of some stops, but at this point, a lot of cubes are at two, which means robots will be coming back in. And Chad rolls seven, which this time we are not able to stop. So that does go like this. Summons another robot to the cause. Chad's got three actions now. That discard's full of amazing stuff. One of the things you can do in the cargo bay is search for any card you want. So, you know, Chad's looking at this like, okay, there's some good cards here. You can only use the cargo bay once a turn. So here's the question. Do we take a quick thinking which will be useful later, or do we take something kind of more re good, I think, r right away? We're gonna need to hack the bridge, I think. Or we're gonna have to walk over the bridge and t spend three turns working on our fuses. We're almost to yellow, which will give Gizma another action. So, I don't know. A remote repair is good. I mean, we can use it right now to help out. So we'll do remote repair. And we'll have that card. So we, we dug for remote repair. We'll actually spend it right now, right away. And we'll actually give this card to life support and give Gizma a better turn, not having to keep doing that. So we'll do that, remote repair to life support. That's two actions. And the third action will be two. Yeah, kick this robot. Yeah, let's kick this robot. Boom. All right, now we're going for teacher of TikTok. Now, see that you get distracted by the robots and you're not actually getting off the ship in time. So nine rolls, great. It's right where Chad's standing. It summons another robot. It can't, it can't, it can't. Boop. <laughs> wow, that was a chain reaction of robots there. Uh, we don't really like that. Is there a way to fix that? And then we're going to start, start using our override cards to make sure the robots don't actually do the damage now because they're just, they're just all over the place. All right, but t terp has got three actions. Going to use the scavenge card, which will move a cube. And... Hate to do this, but we're going to take it from operations. We're going to give it to Greenhouse. Then we're going to walk into Greenhouse and repair Greenhouse because we don't have a space suit, so we got to be careful. And we know that that robot will actually do damage to the Greenhouse. We're going to kick that robot over. That's the reaction it's for T-Turp TikTok. We got a nine again. Gizma, not the nine. That's terrible. Now, it is where... The meteor has crashed where the captain is standing, so Chad gets a free action, which is going to be great. We could put a cube there, which would then cause that to lose a cube and prevent the, the cascade that will happen. Now, if we do that, of course, this last robot will definitely come in. If we don't do that, this last robot will definitely come in. So either way, that's not an issue. The pod's going to be lost, but we don't know what the pod is. Chad's wearing a spacesuit, so Chad's fine. Uh, but in general, we don't want to have a cascade happen. It will weaken lab and maintenance. So we are going to take his quick thinking action is going to be to repair, which then hits the cargo bay, which then triggers a robot. Can't go nine, can't go eight, can't go seven, can't go six, goes, can't go five. Boop, a robot shows up in the lab. It is the last robot. So we don't have any more coming in, but boy, we are stalling days are over. Ah, Gizma, 
that was a bad roll. Now we've got a nine with three actions. And we're in life support. We could kick that robot and just get on with our day here. Teleporter's working, so I kind of like it. I, well, you know, teleporter, boom, hit navigation, kick that robot, and be ready to take cards. Let teacher pass their navigation codes to Chad. It's pretty good. Life support's fine. So let's go like this. One to teleport, two to navigation, three to tip over. We'll just do that. Now it is the robot's turn right now. So four is going to do its damage. But Gizma's like, it's time. Let's pay override. That stops the robot from doing any damage, but it does still go to the next one. Then we go to the five. Now that's going to damage it all the way, but teacher of TikTok is like, nope, we're going to override that robot, which doesn't do anything and goes down to four. Now we're out of overrides. So six does damage to this one and moves to five. And then uh, seven tries to repair the engine room and does so with the most cubes, which is five. It'll fix the engine room and then it will go down to six. Actually, wait, 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 hold on a second. Six, um, yeah, we resolved five, we skipped it. Six stands up, right? Um, uh, is that right? Let me make sure I got that right. Uh, six stands up, seven then, uh, seven does the repair, which is from life support, and can goes down. Six, five, four, three, two. And then uh, we're going to eight, eight stands up, nine stands up, 10, 11, 12, no more robots. There's enough robots, let me tell you. All right, the robots are done. We've got no overrides left. Our crew doesn't have enough cards. We do know three fuses. We're, in ye we're almost in yellow. Here we go, Chad's rolling it up. It's a six, that's terrible. That, I mean, no more robots can come, but it's just more damage. We just look the thing damage. We don't have a choice, right? There's nothing we can really do about it. All right, so it's happening. Boom, 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 cascading. No more robots can come in. Don't have to deal with that. But the greenhouse is not having its best day. Chad's sitting over there at Cargo Bay with a robot and could fix it, keep it going. I don't really care about that pod. I'm starting to not really worry about it. The only reason to fix Cargo Bay is perhaps to get ourselves a, you know, get use of the cargo bay. So that'd be the reason to do it. But we also gotta get out of here. I mean, he could kick a robot, move the laboratory, kick a robot, that might not be bad. He's doing that, he's not gonna stop and get these cards. We're just gonna get out of here. We're just gonna do this. I don't know if that's a good idea because we're not gonna have the right cards. Boom, kick, two, boom, kick, done. All right, now let's go on to T-Turp's turn. Six passes right through the greenhouse. That's another lucky break. Should just let that greenhouse stay damaged. Huh? All right, and now let's uh, let's take three actions as teacher of TikTok. Now he's they're down here. Life support does have power, so the first move could be to take the oxygen tank. And the next move, we already know what the pod is. We could fix this pod. We need oxygen from any, for anybody else. All three of us have oxygen. I'm not gonna leave that alone. We're playing normal mode. We don't need oxygen. Uh, so that's one move. But we do need, teacher has got a lot of things to do here. Still doesn't have a power pack. So one, two, oh, three. Let's just, let's just be active against these guys. All right, Gizma rolls a six. Awesome, it's the best roll right now. Gizmo's got three turns. Sitting over there in navigation codes, wants to definitely grab the navigation codes. Can run over to greenhouse as needed, but you know, kicking a robot and fixing this is a good idea because we know that pod and we want to escape via that pod. That's the end of their turn. It's back to the robots. We evaluate robot number one, number two, number two damages down all the way down. Operations is out of power, moves down to the one. Then we go to the three, stands up. The four, stands up. Five, no, six, repairs the greenhouse. Thank you, robots. 
Uh, looks for the highest number, which would be navigation takes. Eh, move to the next lowest one, which is five. We evaluate seven, no, eight stands up, nine stands up, there's none, 10, no, 11, none, 12. We're done with the robots. The ship's like a mighty damaged, and of course the robot made the greenhouse. Now, a bad roll. Chad rolls, and rolls a 10, the teleporter takes a hit. We're definitely in yellow. The yellow actually means that Gizma has now an action, and a bonus action to use at any time. We're gonna need it, because we're gonna try and get out of here. Chad's thinking, all right, what do we need? I need a navigation code, and I need food for everybody. So, you know, we could kick the robot, walk in there, and then grab the codes. That's not bad. Kick it, walk in here, grab these codes. We're just focusing on getting out now. T-Turp, it rolls a three. That's where we're standing. Maintenance takes a hit. <clears throat> T-Turp's like, okay, I don't really care about that. I'm trying to get my engines here. One, I've got a power pack. Excellent. We're really kind of missing food now. And actually, t going to take their last action to play this rec form, finally, and send a navigation codes. Oh, God, everyone grabbed the navigation codes? Oh, Chad wasn't supposed to grab one. Chad, what were you thinking? Shoot. See, there's a coordination can fall apart here. I was holding on to an extra navigation codes in t hand, and Chad went and grabbed his own. So now I don't have a reason for this unless I go to the lab. That's actually not a bad play. So we will hold it and save the thing for the lab. Great, okay. So for the last action then, he's gonna do something else. A teacher of TikTok is, is thinking, no, let's draw a card. Another requisition form, that's useless. I mean, it's not useless, but we don't want it right now. All right, and then we're on to Gizma. Come on, Gizma. Four, the lab takes a hit and the ship is just looking cascade ready that's not good this would just be devastating devastating look at all look at this thing right here this is a this is a game ender do not let that happen to you so we have to do something about that gizma happens to have an eva and we're concerned about this this chain right there so the highest probability roll is a six and uh so i think well, Gizmo's right there. He can walk. Well, Gizmo can walk over there, but you know, one, two, fix the greenhouse, and don't have to use the EVA just yet. So I think that might be the play. The other other way is to kick that robot, then EVA over there, and then fix it. Saves a, a move. Saves it possibly from blowing this whole chain up. So we're definitely going over the greenhouse. We're going to use the EVA. We're going to kick the robot first. We're going to play the EVA. And we're going to put a cube on the greenhouse. Now, has an extra action cube, could spend it right now to draw the greenhouse, but I think we're gonna wait and see what happens. So we're evaluating robots right now. There's a lot of robots that are standing, which is a bad thing for us. So the first thing that happens, crew quarters actually takes one of these and goes all the way back around to 12 and is uh, start goes like that. We evaluate two, there's no robot. Three, tries to fix maintenance the best it can, which uh, the highest numbered one looks like an eight. Oh God, this this is uh, this is bad. Uh, then goes down to the two. We evaluate four, stands up. Evaluate five, damages it down all the way. Goes to four, can't. Goes to three. Boom. We evaluated five, six, seven, eight. Stands up. Nine tries to fix it the best it can. The best it can right now is the engine room. Goes down to eight, can't, goes to engine room because it didn't do enough damage there. Uh, we were evaluating nine, we're evaluating 10, 11, and 12, and we evaluate that one and it stands back up. Now the robots have devastated the ship and it's looking pretty bad. The cascades are huge. We don't have a lot of cards at our disposal. In fact, everyone's out of everything except for couple requisition forms so we are in trouble we need to roll well and i don't know if we can count on the game to do that for us so this is a six now that hits the greenhouse and damages it now luckily we did fix that so that stops that chain and it's on chad's turn right now chad is thinking let's aggressively get out of here we can't have any cascades happen so he's got to go fix one two 
Uh, should we kick this one? Let's kick that one. So fix, walk, kick. It's the best we can do is chat. We need to draw some cards because we are out of cards. But TikTok is an 11. That's a good roll right now. And TikTok's got some things to do. We do need the engine to work to get out of here. So TikTok is right there and can fix the engine, kick the robot, and draw a card. I think that's an excellent turn. And it's hack the bridge, which is pretty pretty good for getting our fuses set. We don't need the bridge to have power to use hack the bridge. And we're on our last roll now. And that is a nine. Whew. That's a close one. Oh, but this is... Robots will probably take us out. I don't really know that we can do much about it. Uh, this one's got something to do, which is going to be fix the greenhouse. Uh, doesn't have an EVA anymore. Uh, does need to grab a food rations. So it has all four cards. Um, we're not in red, so it doesn't have an extra action yet, but now it has grabbed, fixed and grabbed, and has another thing that they can do. The robots are going to steal from the highest numbered space with cubes. We could do another cube. We just need to give cubes on this board because otherwise they're going to move from, I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to take cubes from spaces that don't have cubes. We cannot let them take from spaces that have a one. That would be devastating. So, so that's a, um, a fix, a grab, and a fix. Now we have one more action, but that's not enough to get another fix. It's enough to take a card. A card could help. It is that bad. Uh, do we do it for a card? I don't know that we want to do it for a card yet. Okay, we're going to risk it. Okay, the robots are going. So, of course, we could actually look at the robots, see what they're going to do, know if it's necessary to grab the card. But I'm playing it you know, a little bit faster than that for this game. So one, there's nobody there. Two, tries to fix it, grabs the highest possible, which is the greenhouse, and goes to one. Three, damages it, uh, moves to two. Uh, four, Tries to repair it with the most it can, which is actually the engine room, and then moves to three. Let me go to five, none, six, none, seven, stands up, eight, damages it down, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, stands up. Brutal, uh, but we are alive for another roll. Uh, four. Wow. <laughs> This is amazing. Like, I, I actually think that a lot of games, the escape pods go, and it would have been maybe better if I let some escape pods go. But as it stands, we have a game where almost everything has one cube, which is death. I mean, death if any number is rolled. Uh, four was probably the only number that, four or six were the only two numbers, or two, that, that would have worked. That's amazing. <sighs> Chad, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Chad? Chad, I can't just worry about getting greenhouse food because we got a serious problem in this ship. Most probable rolls, Chad's got to deal with. Chad's got to go one, two, three. The only way we're going to stay alive, actually, is not kicking the robots, I don't think, but is actually repairing. So, I mean, any one of these numbers is going to be it. It's not going to be the robots. It's going to be our own luck like that. Okay, so the teleporter's gonna go. There's nothing we can do about it. So the teleporter goes, which actually takes this escape pod out. And then the escape pod's out of the game. We don't actually care about that escape pod, but now it triggers us. Oh, this, is, this is a game over, actually. Uh, we, we can, it goes over here, which kills this one, which actually we did care about. Sorry, Gizma. <sighs> that damage went to Gizma. Gizma's out. That one goes there. This actually triggers over here, pops that one, which actually goes like this. <laughs> takes one off over here, takes one off over there. I mean, that's it. That's game over right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the Renegade robots have screwed us up. We managed to have one crew member with all four resources. The other crew members had three of the four resources. None of us had a single fuse set. The engine definitely did not have power, and we did not survive today in space. Oh, I felt like we could do it. It was positive. The crew will be back for another episode. Stay tuned. Uh, but the Renegade robots are all having a dance party in crew quarters in the middles. They don't need oxygen. They're just having fun. They won the day. We'll be back, robots. We'll be back.